I looked at clay as a material that really I could engage my thoughts, my ideas. I was able to really work with it. A lot of artists, I think, need, especially sculptors, they need a little bit of resistance with material. But for me, I seem to work better with soft materials. I can go back into it. I can completely stop completely stop halfway through a piece. I can come back later. It's very, it's, it's a very finicky material, but it's also a really forgiving material. I have a studio at my house. I work there quite a bit and I spend, I kind of split my time. I split my time between my students at school and my studio at home. One thing feeds off the other and I really enjoy teaching and I enjoy working with the students. There's a freshness to what they do. There's an uncertainty to what they do that I feel like a lot of times in your own studio, you can kind of, you hone in on something and it becomes your work and you research it more and more and you can really push it around and the students are just they're really free. They're just wild with their work in a way that's it's very refreshing. They don't tell you who's going to be on the cover. And then all of a sudden, I realized I was on the cover. I was getting text messages from all these people with all these congratulations, and I hadn't even realized what happened. Just a fantastic thing for me to be able to be on the cover of Ceramics Monthly. There's something about objects and building and communicating poetry of my sculpture and how I hope it conveys ideas and meanings. And for me, there's a, there's a beauty to the a little bit of the unknown and not quite getting everything when you look at art. And it, I feel like it, it holds you and it, it, it draws you in a little bit deeper. People often ask me how come I make work or how come I make art? And that's a harder, should be an easy question, but it never seems that easy. My whole life, I've made things. When I was a kid, I used to go down in the woods and, you know, everybody has these stories, but I'd go down in the woods and I'd dig the clay out of the cliff sides and make little objects and come back and I'd fire them in my mom's oven to 400 degrees and just, which I guess all I really did was just really dry them out. Think about why do, why do I make art? And then I think, you know, why do we, why do we need art and what does it do? It, it, it fills, it fills something that without artwork is empty. And I think that's a personal thing. It fills something within myself, but it also, it fills something within a space. It, there's an interaction there. There's a, there's a physical interaction with the work and there's an interaction between the work and a space. If you walk into somewhere and it has no artwork, it's really feels like, I think to most people feels like it's missing something. And there's this exchange that happens between ourselves and those objects or those paintings that I really feel creates a rich environment. That's the kind of environment that's important to me. And I feel like it's important to a lot of people. Clay can capture things that other materials can't. And what I mean by that is it, it has a memory and it, it remembers your fingers on it. It remembers your fingerprints on it. You can come back in and clean that up. You can leave them there. One thing that I try and work on with my work is being sensitive to that and being aware of the marks I'm making or the marks I'm erasing. It has a memory 